Hi everyone, Daisy here. I'm just checking in with my Shop It or Stash It kit. So this is going to be kind of a killer kit for my stash kit. Um, and then I think tomorrow or the next day I'll upload my shop kit. So um, I was able to create... nine layouts um, with my stash kit which I think is amazing um, and I still have some bits left that I'm going to share with you um, and then I'll kind of go over our surprise so the first layout I created with my sh stash kit um, is this one here and I created it when I was at a crop um, that was put on by Erica Rose um, Creates <clears throat> and the first night that I got there, like I was kind of nervous and not sure what to work on at all, so I decided to fussy cut, which is my least favorite thing to do, but it kept me busy, it kept me working on something, and it also allowed me to kind of look around and, um, you know, talk to people and everything. So, these are from that 6x6 six six paper pad that I have in my kit and from Dear Lizzie. Um, it's this one, the Stay Colorful 6x6 six six paper pad. And there was two of these papers with all these florals in it, so I fussy cut all, all the florals. And then I added in some of the sequins from Easy Breezy Beautiful and also from... Um, peachy keen or no I'm sorry it's from the Aquarius like the old mix that I had um, <clears throat> I also was able to use some of the die cuts from dear Lizzie that I have so the two to remind you the two um, die cut packs I pulled in were my Chamel and my dear Lizzie and I wanted to do my best to use some of these up because they're ones that I have had for a long time and either I'm hoarding them or I'm struggling to use them. So um, I was able to get this little swan on here because I thought <coughs> it has nothing to do with the layout but I thought that it matched I guess and then this you are my happy is my title I also backed it with a couple of the other papers and I used this 12 by 12 paper that is from um, a craftsmith paper pad and it's just like an ombre or whatever and I love how it turned out the second one I created was this one and while I'm talking to you I'm gonna glue this photo down because it keeps popping up so I wanted to use, this was also created at the crop, my glue's all gunked up, um, and I had this idea of, really, um, cutting out the scallops in this paper here to make kind of this like interesting paper edge. I originally had wanted to do it kind of coming off the top. Oh, that was way too much. Well, let's just spread it around, I guess. All right, on the fly scrapping here. So I had wanted it to kind of come from the top and kind of look like it's melting down the page, um, but it just didn't turn out that way. I liked it better this way, so this is the direction I went with it. Um, at the crop, we got this Good Times um, as part of like our, I don't know, swag bag, I guess. We also got these little tags here, and I had brought some of these little random bits off my desk to the crop to try to see what I could get used up, so I was able to get this um, gold paper clip, these little gold stars. These are wood grain paper um, that I had punched into butterfly shapes, and then I made the good times into a giant shaker pocket using my fuse tool, and in there is metallic mess, yeah, metallic mess and hexaglam um, sequins. Those were not part of my kit. Um, they were just ones I had, and I was kind of ended up going for this like monochromatic tone. So I figured I would use my gold sequins up. But so from my kit, I used this paper, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, this isn't the next one I made. 
well, the rest of these are kind of out of order. So then I created this one for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I used some of the 12 by 12 papers and I cut them in diagonal stripes. This paper I pulled in out of my stash um, because I had to use it for this layout. It just fit. So <laughs> I had to pull it in. I backed my photo with some of the paper. I used some thread and did some stitching here um, and I also used a sequin mix called I Love You More, which was not part of my kit, but um, yeah. These letter stickers in here that are part of my title, it says Love You More, those are part of my kit as well. So I was able to do that. Um, this one I just recently posted, but I actually created this probably more towards the beginning um, because we were talking about using the paper issue sketch and that's what this is based off of. Oh, that last layout was based off of this one here is based off of a sketch as well by Laura Rumble. Um, just so you're aware of that. And there's a video for that one. This one there's a video for as well and it's based off of the sketch from Paper Issues for February. And I was able to use up these gorgeous stamps by um, Coco Vanilla, the More Than Words stamps. I love them. Um, I also got these thickers which are from Girl Squad by Pebbles. Um, which are part of my kit. This is that um, other stamp set that was in my kit and I had also pulled these in because um, if you remember the well at the beginning of this video um, you'll see it the mood board we were using had paint swatches and so I had pulled these in and these are jelly bean soup. Um, there is a video for this one and like I said it was based off the paper issue sketch challenge for February. Next is this one, and this one is um, a little crazy for me, but I really wanted to challenge myself to use up some of the items I was struggling to use. So, this is based off of a Paper Issues um, Scrap Lift Sunday Challenge. Yes, Scrap Lift Challenge. And um, there was kind of this, like, T-shape... Um, design for the layout and so I used a bunch of the papers and little actually most of these are little bits of papers that I just made fit because um, they're not like full you know six by six papers I cut them in half or they were little pieces like this one over here were little pieces all of these were cut out of little scraps of papers from the six by six paper pad um, and so yeah, I had this fun photo of my daughter's birthday party and I decided it would be perfect for a summer layout and I could get all of this random stuff on to one layout because it's for a 13 year old's birthday, right? So why not? Um, and so I got all these cat mermaids on here. I used a bunch of these um, little tile stickers that I believe are my mind's eye. A bunch of these up. Um, I think all of the die cuts here are from the Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful collection. And then I was also able to get some of these white thickers on here as well. Um, I added the word love because I felt like I needed to balance the bike a little bit. So I got this ice cream truck thing on here. And I was going to do some stitching on the letters, but I got a little lazy when I was making this. And I'm just like, nope. It was right after we got back from vacation and I needed to get a layout done and I'm just like, nope, I'm not going to do stitching. So, But I love how this turned out. Like It's so colorful and it's a little hard to read on camera, but in person it's really not. So there's just a lot of busyness on camera, I feel like, but in person it's not as crazy. But I really like how this turned out. So this was also created for a um, scrap lift challenge over at Paper Issues for February. Christy and I had kind of discussed using the Paper Issue challenges um, as basis for layouts or whatever. So that's why you're hearing a lot of that. Um, 
But yeah, everything on this is from my kit. So I have these puffy stickers from Dear Lizzie. These are stamps from the Coco Vanilla um, More Than Word stamp set. This was that gorgeous floral paper that's from Pebbles. Um, I fussy cut out all these florals. I know more fussy cutting. Um, this is the little scrap I had left of that gold scallop paper I cut out. Um, and the original scrap lift, it was a whole bunch of scallops down the page. And so I kind of, I it's not, I guess, exactly like the scrap lift, but I took the scallop design and decided to go with that. Um, and that's the fun thing about uh, scrap lifts and sketches is you can take them wherever you want to go. I also use the Easy Breezy Beautiful sequins on here and then some of these thickers again. So this one is for Quilter's Vibe and um, that's a series that Christy and I do with Sarah Scraps on YouTube. And so I, yeah. I had picked out the inspiration. It was a rainbow, um, like pixelated kind of quilt. And this is not at all what I planned on doing, but this is what I ended up doing. So these are all strips of paper from a lot of papers from the 6x6 paper pad and also the 12x12 um, 12 12 sheet like scraps that I had. And I just wove them together. And then I backed these with some paper from the paper pad. And this pink paper is the gorgeous one with the gold foiling on it. Um, I pulled out these Chamel florals from Glitter Girl. Glitter, yeah, Glitter Girl. And stuck them around. And I also pulled in the sticker sheets because I forgot that I had them. And I actually got another set of them. So I wanted to use some of them up. So I was able to get some of these stars on here and more of the florals. And then I pulled in these sequins, the girly glitter, which I think may have been made for Glitter Girl, but I'm not 100% sure. And I was able to get a bunch of these on here, the yellow and the pink. And then I just used some mists, um, a lot of shimmers mists, and then also some dilutions. And just sprinkled in the background. And I got this on here, which is something I've kind of been hoarding. And some more of those, um, the Skylar, these thickers on here. And I love how this turns out. I'm so happy with it. Um, and this might have been out of order. I actually might have created this one first, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. So this one was for the Take 5 Challenge. So there was a video for the Quilters Vibe layout. There is a video for this one as well. I used this pink paper with the gold foiling um, to back my layout. And then some of this floral paper, I was able to get a four by six card on here. <coughs> And then a bunch of these little florals from Chamel Little by Little Collection. Um, and I can't remember all of the things that we were supposed to use. So we were supposed to use red. We were supposed to use pink. We were supposed to use the word love. Um, hearts. And puffy stickers. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay, so I got everything on here. Um, I oh, oh no 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 no! Well, that's just not okay. There we go. Um, I used this cut file. This is part of a cut file. It's a heart wreath cut file from Paige Evans. It's available on the Silhouette store and also in her Etsy shop, I believe. And I cut the heart part off of it because I was originally going to use the heart instead of using these puffy stickers, but it didn't fit with what I wanted to do. I backed all of these with little scraps of cardstock from the cardstock warehouse, and this is cut out of the gold mirror paper, which is my favorite. Um, and yeah, this is one of those layouts that I created without having a photo. I don't know, I just, sometimes I just sit down and just start doing something, and then I'm like, oh wait, I don't have a picture for it. So then I just, picked out a picture of me and my girls at Myrtle Beach and I love how this one turned out. I added some thread back here and these puffy stickers are from Pink Fresh Studio and then some more of those thickers that I had pulled in. 
there is a video for that one as well. This one is the last one I created. Does something just move? No, okay. Um, this is for Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I also used this cut file, which was a Friday freebie from the cut shop. And I saw it, and I fell in love with it, and I'm just like, oh, I need that cut file. So I went and I downloaded it, and then I'm like, I bet you I could use this. So I created a sh shaker pocket out of tool. And then the um, I Dream of Sequins sequin mix here, this one. And yeah, I love how it turned out. I did some gold stitching. Um, these are all, well, not this gold glitter one. I pulled this one in um, as I just had a scrap of it on my desk, so I used it. But all of these are backed with different papers from either the 6x6 paper pad or from the 12x12 papers I had. I did a bunch of... Um, faux watercolor stamping. Um, so I used the big floral stamp and some of my Distress Oxide inks. I activated the Oxide inks, dipped it in, and stamped around. Um, I got some of these thickers on here. <clears throat> Back to my photo with another piece of paper. And then I did some, I don't know, gold tracing around the outside. And then a bunch of splatters. And I love how this turned out. Like, it is so pretty, and I feel like it's different than my usual style, and sometimes that's just fun to do something a little bit different. So, um, I had actually cut the cut file out once, but then the lines were so super thin that I wasn't going to be able to adhere my tool to it. So I cut it out again and made these lines chunkier, and I actually made the cut file a little bit bigger. Um, so then I just cut the florals off of that and then I cut the bow off so that I could have kind of this white on white look for my bow and I am so happy with this like so super happy uh, yeah but you can see the video for this it should have gone up yesterday on both my channel and the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel so you can check it out both places so now what I have left over I have this kind of big piece of polka dot paper um, I have quite a bit of this. I found this floral super hard to use because it is a cream background and I really struggle mixing white and cream and yeah so I found it a little difficult and plus it's really busy like a lot busier than it seems. Like I thought this would be the easiest thing to use and oh it really wasn't. I have this much of this purple paper left. I have a little bit of this pink paper some of the green with the stars on it. This is all I have left of that gold scallop paper. And actually, I'm just going to throw this away because it's not. you can't even cut any more of the scallops out of it. <clears throat> and then I used a ton of the 6x6 paper pad. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight full sheets of the paper pad left. And then just these scraps here, which I will go through and anything that's too small to use as like a layering piece, I will get rid of. Um, I still have these tile letters left. When, and I can use quite a you know, few of those to make words. Um, quite a few of these left. I used up a lot of the puffy stickers. Um, I was using the white side. The white ones were kind of what I was focusing on. And I, <clears throat> I used a few of them, but I feel like I could do more. These peachy colored ones were the ones I was focusing on. And I did use them quite a bit. But there's so many on here that it's not something you can use up. Um, and then the white letters... Um, I was going to, I think I only used these once, but I was trying to use them um, because I think I have three packages of them now. So I was trying to use some of these to get, you know, as many words spelled out of it as I could, but I think I only used them the one time. So on my stamps, obviously, I didn't use my watercolors at all. Um, and I did get, you know, quite a few of the Chamel, or a bunch of the Chamel things used up and quite a few bits from this Dear Lizzie collection. 
And then, I mean, sequins. I had two packages of these, so I combined them into one. Um, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to use sequins up unless you're using a shaker pocket. And even then, I mean, I used a ton of them in that umbrella, and I still have, you know, this much left. So that is my Killa Kit, what I have left over. Um, and kind of our plan is we are going to be doing a giveaway where we will be giving away um, all or parts of what we have left over at the end of this series. So we are going to be combining our Shop It and our Stash It kits um, and creating with them. And then whatever we have left over, we're going to be creating kind of little mini kits. And one person is going to get one from each of us. So our kits are completely based on the same um, inspiration, but they're completely different. I mean, they have, you know, the same colors in it, but really they're not the same at all because we have different styles and we gravitate towards different things. So you'll be getting two little mini kits, one from Christy and one from I, and they will have, you know, little pieces of both of us in them. <laughs> so, um, if you haven't already, head on over to Christy's channel and check out her Killa Kit. And then you're going to want to tune in either tomorrow or the next day for our reveal of our Shop It, um, our Shop It kit. I just completely blinked on the word there. Um, and see what we have for that. It's all like new or newer stuff. It's all new to us. And we were super excited to go shopping for it. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this got to be a little long, but I will see you again next time. Bye!